Good morning, everyone. It's Heather Cooper here with Playing with Paper Crafting. I want to welcome you to my Monday morning live video. And uh, today we're going to be talking about something that fascinated me from the minute that I um, saw them in the new 2021-2022 annual catalog. And that is the layering diorama dies. And this is the card that I put together last night in order to demonstrate them with. But basically, you end up with a three-dimensional diorama um, that kind of draws you into the middle by creating this uh, sort of ever narrowing um, cave almost um, using these diorama dies. Um, I just wanted to show you in the annual catalog though of some samples using, there's, um, there's not a ton of them. First of all, page 163 shows you where you can find the dies themselves in the catalog. And uh, then there are some samples. The first one is on the Seascape uh, bundle that has a similar kind of idea. Um, oh, that's not it. Let's see. Here we go. Here's another one. I think I kind of put those two samples together to come up with mine, but uh, that's kind of a sunset kind of uh, look to it. Then this one is uh, using sort of the, the other idea where you build up a contour using the layers. So today we're going to put this one together. And uh, I want to show you how to use the dies. And uh, hopefully you get as inspired as I am right now to try them out for yourself. So we'll just get started with that. So I'm going to put these aside. We'll start with our base of Bermuda Bay. I'm just going to fold that. And what we're going to do on our base is do some embossing. So in, in white. So we're going to take this um, stamp of, I think it's coral either coral or seaweed. And this is from the Seascape uh, stamp set, which is new in the new annual catalog. Okay, so we're gonna take this stamp and we're going to emboss it with white embossing powder. I don't know if you noticed, but our uh, new catalog has our embossing powders grouped into two groups now and you have to buy them in groups. So you've got white, black, and clear as the basics, and then you have uh, silver, gold, and copper as the metallics. And you buy them in, in groups of three. Okay. So I've got that ink, inked up with Versamark. And I'm going to stamp it right about here because I want it to show through the layers. Okay, and at the same time, I want a little seahorse to show through right at the back there. So this seahorse is from the Whale Done um, stamp set, which was in last year's catalog. I think it first came out in 2019. 
um, or the 2020 occasions catalog. Okay, and there's my little seahorse. Now we're going to cover them with embossing powder. And heat set that. I like to keep my embossing powder. Didn't want to open. I like to keep my embossing powder in Tupperware containers and then I don't have to mess with extra papers or anything. I just sprinkle it on right over top of the container and tap it off right back into the container and it's so much easier. I end up getting little extra bits in there sometimes. I feel like I need to um, get a sieve. still need to looks like I still need some more powder on there on this side that's better okay now now as my dad would say now we're cooking with gas he was a plumber and a pipe fitter so I guess that's why he likes that expression We'll just heat set on the highest setting of the heat tool and here it goes if you can see that and we'll just make sure that every little branch of the coral has changed from dull white to shiny white and every little part of that seahorse has changed as well. Okay. And then we're going to set that aside for a few minutes. Okay, now what we need to do is um, die cut all the layers of the diorama into our layers here. So the layers are going, this is the front and it is Sahara sand. Sorry, you can't even see that. This is the front, this is Sahara sand. Then the uh, layer under that is soft sea foam. This is five and a half by four and a quarter. This is five and a quarter by four, as are these, okay? The next one is pool party and the next one is coastal cabana. All right, so I'm going to start with the largest one and I'm going to get out my dies. I think I started with the third largest, but let me just check that with my sample here. Yes, so this was the size I used. And so I used it crosswise like this and we'll just run that through the stamp and cut and emboss machine which is looking my plates are looking a little worse for wear and the uh, cutting plates are back ordered I desperately need some new ones and um, I'm hoping they get them in I think they said Mid to end of June, I think. Okay, so that has gone through. This is the next size. And this is the next um, one underneath. Okay, so what we want to see is how we want to orient this probably by turning it 
in the opposite direction to give us a little extra room where we can stamp or attach things. Okay, so this these don't fit exactly together because the outer one is a little bit bigger, but if we turn it that way, we can see that we'll leave a little bit of extra bits on the side. Okay, so that's probably how we'll arrange the die underneath. And so that's how I do it. I cut one and then I um, compare it to the next one to see how I want to arrange the die underneath. And we'll bring in the next size and the next color, which is Pool Party. And we'll decide how we want to cut that. I think we'll be turning that the opposite direction. Does everybody see how that works? So now you see how these two fit together. Okay, and then our last one is the Coastal Cabana. So I'll save my My pool party. Maybe we'll do the same layer and just uh, turn it the opposite direction. That looks like it'll be a little bit better. I may have skipped a layer in there. Okay. Move it down a bit. And we're going to emboss the, lar the largest layer. And we're using for that the Tasteful Textile Embossing Folder, 3D Embossing Folder, right here. So we will just add that to it. Move it down just a wee bit. Close it up. We need um, different plates for that. So we need the standard plate. And then we need our embossing folder, which should go in spine first. And then we need a number four plate for that. And we'll just wind that through. And that's the result. Okay, we've got it all um, embossed. And the reason I didn't emboss it first was because if I embossed it first and then cut it, um, the cutting would end up reducing the um, emboss, you know, the um, design on the embossing. Okay, all right. So now we have a little bit of stamping to do on our cards here. Oh, sorry, this one goes here. On our, our layers. So we'll get that done, and then we'll assemble all the different details. So, on 
Let me just check my... Okay, so on the coastal cabana, we have to see where we can fit in some little fish. So some tiny little fish from the whale done. We're going to put them here and here. So you'll see part of them anyway. Um, my coast, um, Bermuda Bay, I'm going to use for that. Let me just check again, up here and down here. Okay. So we'll just stamp part of a school up there. And part of a school down here. All right, and then that will go over there. And then on the soft, the uh, soft sea foam up here and here, we're going to do a bigger school of fish. And this one is from the seascape. Um, stamp set that came in the new catalog, the new annual catalog. I'm going to do those in just jade. Okay, these go this direction. So some up here. We want to remove that from the others. some down here. They won't, you won't see all of them in the uh, final result, but that's okay. It's like you're seeing a peak of everything. Okay, now um, we'll assemble this bit by bit. Let's see, where's my... Oh, here we are. Okay, so we're going to start by mounting this layer here, and we're going to put it up on dimensionals. So I kind of alternated dimensionals, using dimensionals and using regular adhesive. But I think I have about three layers on uh, dimensionals and one layer just regular adhesive. We want to end up putting some dimensionals around the opening here because otherwise it'll collapse in and not give that cave-like effect. So we want to make it look, look good in 3D. Okay, so now I'm going to line this up, and this first one is important to get lined up evenly at about an eighth of an inch border all around, okay? The next one, the pool party one, we're going to see if there's anything we have to add to it. Nope. So the next one, we're just going to use some adhesive. And I'm expecting my stamp and seal to run out at any point here. So that's the way we have it. And it probably will do it while I'm trying to um, do the video. Oh, well, there you go. Something went right. So now we just have to line this up exactly with the bottom layer. There we go. Yay. And then this one, I'm sure there's something else I have to stick in here somewhere. Um, I think we can add it afterwards. Okay, and then this one we're going to put on with dimensionals again. Right. 
and we'll add that matching it up exactly with the edges of the other layers and then we're also going to do this one and this one what we want to do is make sure that it matches the the, the card base layer so we're going to use dimensionals for this one too Now, I think before I put that on, I really should add the sous vide because that's something that I think will be hard to add once um, that layer is on. So we're going to use blue dots, and this seaweed is from a dye called, um, from a set called Smooth Sailing that coordinates with the sailing home stamp set which has been um, a regular in our annual catalog for a while so let's use some glue dots for that and put one at the bottom here and one up a little further just to secure it and we'll add that right about uh, move it down a little bit there we go and then we'll do put the soft sea foam that's just jade and this is the soft sea foam We'll put the glue dots in the same place for this. We'll move this down and to the right a little bit. Okay, now that we've done that, I think we can add this. Okay, and again, I want, I'm just going to move it towards me a little bit so that I can make sure that this is matching the outside card base because we don't want that showing through. Okay, so now we've got all this on. I want to add my little turtle and I'm going to put him right here. Well, maybe a little lower. So I'm going to use a glue dot on one end and then um, a little mini glue dot right about here not glue dot dimensional mini dimensional right there and the glue dot on his tail okay so he's going on the pool party layer and I just don't want him to block my little seahorse there come out just a bit okay now we're going to add the embellishments on the outside of the card so we've got our um, lighthouse which we want to make straight so that might mean yeah I'm going to add it like this and I'm going to end up trimming off part of that because I want the lighthouse to be straight, which my other one was a little bit off. So, um, I think I'm just going to use, make sure that the right area gets the adhesive. Put a little more adhesive along the bottom there. Okay, and then I'll just trim 
a little bit off the edge here. And at the top, we're going to use the anchor, and I'll use glue dots for that. So one just in here, and one just at the bottom here. Make sure that all of the anchor gets on there. Straight, that's good. And then we've got the ship's wheel. So I'm going to put one right in the middle for that. Overlapping. Alrighty, and then we we'll just need our sentiment. We're going to use some larger glue dots. This sentiment is um, die cut with a die from the sailing, the smooth sailing dies, and you can actually bend these the little ends. They're die cut there, and that makes it look a little more three D. And if you um, put some dimensionals into the corner that can keep it looking a little bit more 3D. So we need a couple more dimensionals. I did two colors last night because I wasn't sure which one I would like the best, but it turns out I like the green better because it pops a little bit more. Well, the Soft suede one just blends right in. So I ended up using the green one, the Just Jade. Oh, that's, you can see that one too much. Let's peel that one up a little bit and move it a bit higher. Okay, now we can peel off the edges. Now, um, this one is going to be actually down in to the next layer, so I'm going to add another glue dot on top of that one, or dimensional on top of that one. So I'm going to make it two dimensionals thick, and that will make up for that extra layer there. Okay, is that straight? No, of course not. There. Okay, so that is the card this morning. It's a little bit of a production, but um, it really shows you how to use those uh, layering diorama dies. And it can make something that will make people's eyes pop for you. Okay, thanks for listening in today. And uh, we'll be back next Monday. Bye-bye.